Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll explore the best Visual Studio Code extension which will help you work better with your programming uh, and productivity tool. And it will also help you with uh, make it make your uh, VS Code experience very much more productive. Okay, there are so many helpful extensions. We're going to look at this amazing extensions of 2024. So these are the ones we are going to run through. Uh, the first one is Tab9, Code Runner, Live Server, Draw.io, Prettier. Code spell checker, Excel viewer, to do and material. So let's head over to our uh, Visual Studio Code. We are, but I have opened a simple JavaScript folder. Okay, we got some code over here. So let's look at the first extension, which is Tab Nine. So go to the Extensions tab uh, and search for Tab Nine. Okay, at the top you see this uh, tab 9 EA auto complete and chat for JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, Go, Java and more. So these are the, what this basically does, it's a brilliant AI coding assistant with AI code completion. So this helps you like, you know, if you're a beginner or even an experience, like if you want to write faster code, you know, your syntax to avoid syntax errors, it will do some auto complete for you, which is absolutely great. So let's take a look. Let's first install it. So it's going to take you to this. Uh, page which will say like you know describes what it is about so it's going to take some time so I will just move ahead and in this video to where the tab 9 is already installed okay so it's getting installed over here so you got to accept some uh, settings you can also change it I am going to accept all settings for now And I think it's pretty much it's still initializing it. All right, so now let's take a look at this uh, extension. All right, you will see the tab nine. It says get uh, code to get the code suggestion. As you code, you will see the tab nine code suggestions in line in gray. In addition to the IDs pop up suggestions. All right, so let's take a look here. So we got to sign in. Okay, we also have to do a sign. In. So let's do that. So you got to go to this website. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in with my Google account, which is first easier. You can also give your email. So we're going to select my login over here and we're going to proceed into tab nine. It's going to ask me for some password. Please go ahead. So now it tells me that you can close this tab and start working with this ID. All right, so awesome. Okay, so let's close this tab. Let's go back to our this thing and let's open up the code. All right, so here now let me try to write one script. So here if you see, yeah, this automatically gives me the next suggestion. Okay, you can either choose to accept it. So now if I want to write like some logic, other logic over here, like if I go out of this, Now I can also use it to explain a section of my code. Suppose I go here and select I, I select say explain code. So like if I go here, it gives me the options as to what all I can do. I selected the explain code option. I selected this block. So let me see. I'm going to click continue. Initially it takes some time to work. So here it goes ahead and explains to me like you know what that code is doing. It is really awesome. Okay. And it also gives you the full details as to what functions it is doing and what else it is doing. Okay. So we have this thing over here, which is I feel really helpful for us. So it will also explain your code. 
and now you can also say generate test or we can write you know doc strings for code or you can also fix code now let's say suppose we have an error over here okay we are not we have a syntax error over here now when we try to save this it's going to give an error so if i cover this part of the code and say fix code it takes some time so it's telling me a couple of errors over here so it gives me the example of how to fix this so which is already great i can just fix it from here or i can just say insert and it replaces the whole thing all right so you can make a, a judgment call over here but what i am saying over here is this is applicable for java python and it's extremely helpful so this is one of my top tools uh, which i suggest especially in the world of ai now and this is one of the best extensions that is tab 9 which gives you ai suggestions for your code all right next one the next extension we'll look at code runner